Hey everybody, it's Campfire Trish, and I am gonna try to do a very speedy video for you all. It uh, appears that it's going to rain, and I am not 100% sure if I'm gonna be able to do all my cooking that I want to do outside today. But I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a good try, a good effort. Uh, first thing first, I'm gonna show you all uh, three separate cooking things: two salads or two side dishes, and then the main. And I'm hoping that main is what actually gets cooked outside, barring no rain. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit. I didn't think it was really supposed to rain today, so I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. But the first things first, I'm gonna be making a, um, a salsa or a kind of a big chunk pico de gallo. And I'm gonna do a corn salad that's also great for alfresca. And then I'm hoping to be grilling some chicken on the Solo Stove bonfire. So let's get to it. All right, to start with, I've already chopped up um, a small little um, pint of fresh tomatoes. Um, and I also cut, I just quartered these. I've got um, some cilantro, some green, um, green onion. Well, I do have green onion, green onion here. I've got some red onion. And then here's a jalapeno with only a few seeds in it. So I'm gonna just throw all my ingredients in together. I'm just gonna give it a, a mixy mix with my hand. And you can add as little or as much jalapeno that you want or any of these ingredients. If you're not a cilantro fan, you don't have to add cilantro. I think cilantro is one of those give or take, you either love it or you don't kind of things. Um, so it just depends on your tastes. Um, reminder, if you are using or chopping up jalapeno, be careful. Um, don't, don't chop it up and then rub your eyeballs because it's not going to feel very good. So far I have yet to do that today and I'm hoping I will not. So I think my ratio of tomato versus my other ingredients is a little, um, short. So I'm actually going to chop up a couple of more tomatoes and throw in here and then give a good squeeze of this lime right on top. And then it's just going to be kind of sitting melding as, um, as it's uh, getting closer to dinner time. All right. So I've got the um, salsa kind of just sitting there hanging out. I squeezed some lime into it. I shook it up. It's doing its thing. Now I'm moving on to the corn um, salad and I'm going to be taking this is about um, two tablespoons of goat cheese and this is really great if you have a like a food processor on hand um, but you know if we're camping I don't necessarily have that on hand so I'm just kind of winging it um, <laughs> see what I could do with my trusty little um, um, what is this thing called this That's thing whisk thank you um so i'm just gonna see what i can do with that so i'm adding some green onions i chopped up about four green onions um and adding it to that and um i'm actually gonna squeeze lime either lime or lemon juice works for this um so it would use whatever you have on hand obviously I'm trying to get all the juice out of this much as I can at least. Limes are a little tricky. So you want about two tablespoons. There we go. There's some more coming. I always soften up my lemons or limes by rolling them first to kind of break those little, you know, juice pouches, <laughs> whatever you pulp. Pulp, that's probably the right term. There we go. Oops. See? looks pretty good now I'm just gonna try to like mix this up so it kind of creates a sauce all together and I can see where the blender action would be definitely preferable or the mixer I should say because that would do that would pulverize that um, green onions well but I think this is gonna work smells good. I like goat cheese, but if you want to use um, a different soft cheese, you probably could, like maybe even feta, maybe. 
Uh, maybe that would be good. I'm not so sure. Maybe a little cream cheese. If you don't want that extra bite. That goat cheese, that tanginess that goat cheese can have. Some people don't really like it. But, oops, sorry. So I knocked my tripod. All right. Um, and so, of course, as I mentioned before, the part of the main great, one of the main ingredients is corn. Now, this is great if you have fresh corn at home. You can just steam it up and and cut it off the um, cob. That works fine. I don't have fresh corn, so I'm just using some canned corn. I'm just gonna mix it in. Um, they say, or um, it says to use like four ears of corn. I'm quite sure what four ears of corn equals to cans of corn. I might have a little bit too much corn in here, but it'll be all right. I'm just gonna mix it up. I've got a little bee that seems to really enjoy the smell of this. Go away, bee. <laughs> now, challenge is using a whisk. Obviously, the corn kind of gets stuck in there. I'm actually gonna add some chopped red pepper, some red pepper to it as well for a little extra color. Look at that, isn't that pretty? and pretty. So I'm going to go run this to the fridge. I'm going to let it just kind of sit and hang out while the rest of dinner is getting prepared. All right, so we've got uh, the solo stove grill on and we've just placed our barbecue chicken on top and we're just going to let that uh, do its thing. All right, so we've already done our first flip. I think we're gonna have to flip these pretty uh, pretty often just because um, it's heating, the fire's hot, so it's gonna cook fast, but we wanna make sure it gets cooked thoroughly, so we just have to monitor. We might have to move it off to the edges where it's a little less hot, but we'll see as, we'll see as we go. All right, so we've, it's been a little bit of a slow process. These, these are really big pieces of meat. <laughs> and um, how half long? Hour. Yeah, we've been cooking these for about a half an hour now. And um, uh, now we were talking and we wished we had split them. These are big chicken breasts and the temperature just has not gotten there yet. Some of them are getting a little bit close but um, it's just taking a long time. So note to self, if you've got really a big chicken breast, split them so they'll cook faster. Um, and our fire's still going okay, but it's definitely, um, you know, dwindling, as you can see there. We've got just a little bit of fire going. But uh, yeah, so hopefully these will be done soon and uh, we'll be eating. All right, so it's finally done. It took forever. <laughs> But um, here is the finished product. The breasts are so big that Sam just cut some of it off because it's huge. That's good. I'm already eating. It's good. I know. Is it good? Um, mm -hmm. And then I have the corn salad and then the tomatoes as well. I'm going to season both of these up with some salt um, because I didn't add any to begin with. Um, for one, I forgot to bring it outside, so that's the reason. So I'm just gonna add some salt to just the salads and I'm gonna give it a try. First off, I'll try the chicken because I've already heard it was good. Nice and juicy and mm. So here's that chicken. Just so good. Oh, it is juicy. Wow. Oh, so good. Mmm. Mmm, really good. <laughs> In here. <laughs> in the background. I am hungry though, so maybe that's it. Mm. You didn't beat me much today, we'll say. And then, well, we had an early lunch. And then the corn salad. Let me get um, a piece of that. I feel like I got a mosquito bite me. Here it is. We stoked the fire up. Hmm. Now that's different. Again, I've never had this before, 
the goat cheese definitely brings a different element to it. I think it needs a little bit more salt. So let me salt it a little bit more. I'm sorry, but corn and salad do not belong in the same sentence. Oh, he's just a fuddy-duddy. I bet it would be even better with fresh corn. But here's another bite. Let's see. Hmm, that did help. But the um, the goat cheese definitely adds a different layer of flavor. I'm not quite sure if I like it. I like goat cheese in general. I think it might be better with maybe feta. So if I do it again, I'll try feta next time. And then let me try this salsa. Try to keep the the bugs away. So you can do this just as a salad or you can do it with tortilla chips too, but let's see. For those of you wondering, the solo stove's a little smoky today because it's all wet wood. We have a ton of rain lately and everything's just nice and wet and so it's not burning as well as it would if it was dry. Here's a piece of that jalapeno. This might set me on fire later. Mm, it's good. I did bring out ooh, that jalapeno is a little spicy. I like jalapeno, so it doesn't bother me the spice. But let's try. Mm. My chips are my chips are stale, but <laughs> in general, kids, they're pretty good. <laughs> so, all in all, this is a really good like summer dinner. Light, easy, the salads took minutes to do. Chicken took a little bit longer to cook, but we could have planned that better. We're also not used to cooking on that yet. Right, we're not used to cooking on the solo stove yet, but it's getting better, it's getting easier. So, all in all, win? Good mm -hmm. recipe? Okay. Chicken, I mean. Wanna see my butchered chicken that I've been gnawing He's on? been like gnawing on it, literally like caveman style. Um, so yummy, messy, but good. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. I have a sneaker behind me. Um, I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed this video. Don't forget to look out for new content Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Give me some likes, give me some comments. I love seeing what you say. So until next time, next Saturday, 8 a.m. Bye.